Where did I go wrong? Because I'm the hardest working guy I know. You know what I'm saying? So how did I lose everything? What am I doing wrong? And so that's when I like realized it was like my like my intentions with the business was totally backwards. And start getting good at communicating voice to voice and connecting personalities. You know what I mean? And learn how to how to how to like really connect with people. I'm afraid okay. to pick up the phone okay. and call people. I mean, I, I do it every once in a while. I'll pick yeah. the phone and I'll call 60 people at a time. Right. Yeah. And, and a lot of times I'll get some right. results. Right. Right. And then I don't hey. follow up. How you guys doing? Yeah, no doubt. Anything I can do to help. So like I was telling her uh, while I go on the phone, like you guys already know a little bit about me, my story and all that stuff. So normally I have to introduce myself and tell everybody everything, <laughs> like all the stuff. So I don't have to do that with you guys. So just like for the sake of time and efficiency and helping you guys to the fullest extent, let's just dive into some Q&A. Everybody is scared to make calls in the beginning. I, I was terrified, right? Everybody's scared. But, but you know, like I said earlier, either you do it and you succeed or you don't and you're not. Like, like okay, you're fixing to make the calls. You got the numbers. You're fixing to hit dial. And your blood starts pumping, right? You're a little scared. Like you got that little bit of, like to me that's so much fun because once they answer the phone and you, you ask them what you can do to help them, your intent, your intent covers up all the, the nervousness. When you call people and you know in your heart that you're there to help, nothing else, it doesn't matter if they reject you because all you are there doing is trying to help them. I love the question of, is there an agent that you would work with if you were to do something? Because it, it establishes the, the, it establishes the relationship. Like it's like, okay, do you have a relationship? If so, great. If not, doors open for me. Okay, guys, I enjoyed it. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Yeah, if there's ever anything I can do for you guys, anything in the world, let me know. Man, you got me excited now. I got to make some calls. Oh, I like that, Blake. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You're too focused on they didn't buy anything, and I'm thinking I connected with somebody that might do something later. I've got somebody that's like... I, I showed them some condos in a building. They, they were determined that's what they wanted and then when they found out the price, they said, those aren't worth that much money. And then they were mad at me because of the price. And I was like- Didn't you like send it to okay. them and then look at the price and everything before you went and showed it to them? Oh, absolutely. Well, I told them what the price was before we even looked. So how did they get like thrown off by the price when they knew the price before they going in? Are you filming me? We got to roll to us.
I would think maybe a better strategy would be, hey, is now a good time? And then B, it would be better maybe to email me all this instead of spending five minutes, you know what I'm saying? Like saying a bunch of stuff I'll forget, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a better strategy like for future calls.